Very shocking. Hard to believe that something like that would be set up and, and done in, in this neighborhood, especially on the golf course and private property. John Reimers lives next to hole number three on Kraft Farms Cotton Creek course. It was there early Sunday afternoon when a threesome of golfers were teeing off during a tournament. The golfers tell police someone hiding in the woods blew an air horn during each of their backswings. Police say the golfers confronted a suspect and after some words, a fight broke out. Police say several other suspects came out of the woods and beat the golfers. An assault occurred at that point. Um, you know, some words I'm sure were said back and forth and uh, the people in the wood line were dressed in camouflage and they, uh, they basically attacked these three golfers. One was taken to the hospital with a severe cut to the head and broken teeth. According to a resident who lives on Robinette Lane, a dead end street which backs up to the tee box, the suspect got into a car and left the scene, but not before he was able to get a picture of the getaway car. We believe that we are going to know who they were today. You know, I, I think we are getting close to an uh, identification. Um, I think they're probably, I won't say local, but local to this county. The general manager at Kraft Farms, Chad Leonard, says in his 25 years in the golf industry, he's never seen anything like this and assures customers this was an isolated incident. Kraft Farms is a safe place to play golf. Uh, this was completely isolated. Uh, these guys could have picked any golf course in the area. Uh, we were uh, the unlucky ones. Police say they are looking for up to six suspects involved in that assault and two other people in the getaway car. Uh, they could face a range of serious charges if caught. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.